in this section we will talk about returns so far we have seen how to procure services non stock items stock items and all along we have just been receiving goods into our inventory but what if something goes wrong let me give you some examples say you receive 100 pounds of flour or sugar and the vendor sends it to you in 250 kilo bags say one of the bags is torn or the flour has gone bad the sugar is gone bad what do you do you don't use it right what do you do you return it to the vendor now how do you do returns this is just one scenario there are many other scenarios for returns we will see the different scenarios for returns in this section the simplest is called as a return delivery so what is a return delivery let's take the same case coffee gone bad or sugar gone bad and start all the way from the beginning so there is a po right that's for say 100 kilos of coffee and the po is received so goods comes in the 100 kilos comes in and you do an invoice receipt so basically this completes the steps from a p2p perspective and the invoice is paid of course that's a finance step we don't care so the goods is received goods is in the warehouse and then somebody went in and wants to use that 100 kilo coffee or 50 kilo coffee but what they found out is the coffee has gone bad it's gone stale or whatever now we want to return one of the 50 kilo bags what do we do we call the vendor and say hey you know what one of the 50 kilo bags is gone bad we wish to return it typically there is a very long term relationship between suppliers and companies the vendor says no problem the next time the truck comes in send it over and i'll replace it right so the first step that we are going to do is create pogrir and after that we are going to return 50 kilos of coffee right so let's do that <laughs> 